The loved one of a man stabbed and beaten to death in his home back in July is speaking out. Dumar Andre Mosquera Mosquera, who friends knew as Andre, uh, was murdered in his Durham home back in July. And tonight, there's still no arrest in this case. CBS 17's Crystal Price talked with the victim's ex boyfriend, who was demanding justice for him. Yes, a majority of Mosquera's family lives in Colombia, but today I spoke with his ex boyfriend, who says he doesn't want this case to go cold. And he's asking if anyone has any information to come forward. I really do miss him. Uh, he was my everything. Tonight, Usvaldo Martinez Carrillo wants answers, as it's been more than three months since his ex boyfriend, who everyone knew as Andres, was murdered in his own home on Charles Street in Durham. Like I am empty from the inside. He was the person who was always trying to push me to go to nursing school. And he was my support in everything. Carrillo says it was on July 1st when he got a call from Andres' family. Asking if I knew anything about Andres. And that's when I found out that they were looking for him. Carrillo said he and another friend went to Mosquera's home to check on him. That's when they found him stabbed and beaten to death in his bedroom. The autopsy says his face was beaten and he was stabbed or slashed more than 35 times with cuts to his neck, torso, arms, and legs. You know, I, I think to myself, who will do that? In August, police released this surveillance video showing the last time Mosquera was seen alive. He's walking into his home with another man. Police are still trying to identify this man. They say the man left an hour and a half later. They believe he stole Mosquera's trunk. It was later found abandoned on I-540 in Nightdale. Tonight, Carrillo is asking that if anyone knows anything to come forward. It can be very dangerous to have someone out uh, like him out here free. I am asking today for justice for his case. I don't want his case to get cold. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.